Welcome to the Sports Word Podcast, episode 34. Uh, we're going to talk about a variety of different topics, uncensored, unedited, and unfiltered. Today we're back with Alan again. Um, sure. Uh, you know, this is like, I don't know how many times, like the fifth time you've been on. You're, you're like my most favorite guest at this point. Yes, sir. You might because as well, I'm the GOAT. You might as well be a co-host at this point. I am the co-host. Anyways, I meant to do this a lot of times recording to be a my podcast. Uh, it's, it's my podcast. Now. It's my podcast. Now. It will never. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. No. Unless you, it's mine. Welcome I, back to this morning. <laughs> anyway, anyway, no, no. When, when, if you ever wanted to become a co-host currently, I will let you. But it's yeah. mine. Anyways. Uh... I was supposed to record this like, like a, so much longer ago, but you know, due to school and you know life, I'm finally passing all my classes. Finally, Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, how's school been for you? How, how did you? How are you enjoying uh, being back in person? Uh, I could say I like being in person more, mostly because I can just do the work in class instead of being fucking dead. Yeah, oh, that's real. I'm at home and I'm just like, I should be asleep right now. God. Yeah, but like, I like in person so much better just because like, I keep more focused. And then I said the most things that is actually keeping me up is lunchtime. You know, lunchtime in my fifth period. Dude, my lunch is low key kind of it's like fun, but it's also kind of dead because I'm sitting with just like people and it's like man. yeah. But I still um, like justice in them. Damn, that's lucky because I low key ain't got no way in my life for real. Exactly. Uh, but. Yeah, so uh, I I so the, I'm here to tell stories. You know, he saw some of this. If any of you have me on Snapchat and joined a story called Omegle Times, it was a thing I did. So you should all should do it. I'll probably post it so you can join it again if you have me on Snapchat. Oh, uh, where I went, I was at my friend's house with Kai Miles. They've been on the show multiple times. Where I, I stayed the weekend over, and I basically spent my much of my time on Omegle, which for those who don't know, is just a website where you go meet random people, and this life's gonna kill me. Uh, and it's very interesting because I have some stories. So, like, obviously, overall, it's a pretty cool website. Besides a bunch of people who like to just show their private parts on there, but you know that's neither here or there. <laughs> <laughs> uh god it's it's like desensitizing at this point but anyways um i don't know if you saw it Alan. i don't think you were on it mm-hmm. but he's like he's gonna be listening along while i'm telling the story so the yes. first one is called the clown video now i still i have this what video no it's not on my story anymore oh. so uh, I'll, so oh, i'll show you i'll show you it after or you pause or whatever this was a video of a guy in a Satan's mask shirtless, and he typed in the chat, I'm gonna end my leave now, right? And we thought he was just BSing, right? So so he took this big kitchen knife, right? About this long, right? This was the blade. The blade's about this long. And uh, he started cutting all the way up to his shoulder. And I thought he was faking until we, so we started recording, like, okay, this dude's faking it. He's just being weird. Then he started bleeding for real and he started laughing like a maniac. We skipped him so fast. <laughs> it was, it, I'll show you the video. No, Amigos, like no, 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 no. We'll, we'll, we'll get to the good parts. I'm just telling you the wild ones. There's also a a a a a, a the wait, good parts. No, 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 no. They're, they're, we're getting there. We're getting there. So then there's a second video where this time it was just me. At the, I, I didn't sleep at all that night. I was just up on Amigo talking to people. Right. I can't watch this video. It was just pitch black. But all you heard was this guy, girl getting, getting the shit fucked out of her by her boyfriend in the back. <laughs> I have a video of this too. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. And, oh, you just hear her fucking. <laughs> and at the end, he was. No, no, no. She was moaning. She was like moaning. That's all you heard. And then he was just like, Do you like your <laughs> early Christmas present? <laughs> and she was like, Yes, I did. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know what was weird. The fact that they, the fact that they did that. What is the purpose of being on Amigo if y'all just give each other early gifts? Here's the thing I, I don't know what's more, who's weirder. The fact that they did that and, 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 and you know, just to do it. It ain't even sure where they're going, bro. Like, no, it was like a minute. It was a minute. It was a good. I, I, I must have come in the middle of it, but they were definitely. And I missed it. There was a big chunk I didn't record. I was just like, are they just going to skip me or just what happened? But then, like, uh,. I always thought like that I was weird enough just to stay and see what would happen. Like, I don't know which one was weirder. Weirder. But, uh. Something like that I would do. I would only do that. There was this one guy. You know, okay, so. Okay, now we're getting to the good parts. Oh, obviously. I've been told 
by many a time in my life, I look like a average age of 25. Uh, he has yeah. a mortgage, three kids, and a wife. Shut, I am a virgin. Shut he up. has a mortgage, three kids. I don't have... I am single. He has a mortgage, three kids, and a wife. I am single. I have money. That is something any relative has told me when they've seen Michael. <laughs> Bro, we were hanging up at the mall. My aunt picked me up. My sister was in the car. As soon as I got in the car, my sister was like, "Michael looks 40 yeah, Why would you do this? He has a mortgage. <laughs> oh my! I was like, no. My brother still doesn't believe that he's my age. The, the buffoon is ignoramus. He doesn't believe that. He's Does my not age. Did he speak I'm though? Gonna, I'm like, he's 16, my guy. Come on. He's so like, no, obviously, that comes with some detriments and benefits, right? You know, on Amigo especially. No, that that did happen. Yeah, I was offered the a drink. first time today, I've been mistaken as well. That that was something. I think it was just the angle I had you, but I don't know. It, that was something. Though. Yeah, maybe. But also. Also, I don't look like good. I had just woken up, so. We, we just woke up and we just ate whatever food was around the house that exactly. we just hopped on. So, yeah. It's just like, After watching Conor McGregor, not Jose <laughs> that that's now Conor McGregor is a national Irish treasure. Anyways, Irish, obviously looking Irish older, is lucky to have you. dude. He's he's like Jesus to them right now. But like, obviously, being looking older has some benefits, and that includes people will talk to you to talk to you who are much older than you, obviously, and won't skip you and won't look at your opinions as just a child, especially if you hold a, a conversation like myself. Now, there was this guy that was like 21, 22. He hopped on the screen and I was just like, hey, what's up? He was like, you're actually the first person not to skip me. And I'm like, dude, I got you, man. And he looked very dejected. So I was like, what's up with you, man? He says, my girlfriend just broke up with me. Like, just then. And I was just like, oh, damn, why? And it was because, oh, because it was on Omegle. And she saw it as like, oh, you're going to meet people or whatever. And I was just like, well, that seems very toxic. And she was. I'm like, I'm good riddance, dude. So you just find better people to do that with. Oh, no. Wait, the pause real quick. Uh, but yeah, he was just, I was, he was just like, Wait, oh. always calling me during these. This is like the third time this has happened. Right. It's like twice every single time. I think it was. I don't know. But yeah, he was just like, oh, well, we're going to go. He was, just, he was just talking about how he was just like, oh, I'm sad. And then he was, he seemed very dejected. And I was just mm-hmm. like, you know, um, people like that, you just got to move forward. You'll find the right person. It's getting right for you because of the fact that it's not, Omigo isn't a dating website. So it's a website to, to really be talk to strangers. It's Literally, like, it's in, in the, the title. Way. So she's so toxic to control you and be like, you know what, we're going to break up with you. And, you know, because people like that are also like to have control and like chase mm-hmm. and that toxicity. You honestly just need to cut that off completely. And I, I told him this. I was, I was just like almost verbatim what I said. He was like baffled, and I was just like, "Oh dang!" And I was just like, "How old are you, man?" And he was just like, "Oh, 23. How are you?" And I was just like, oh, "I'm 16." And he was just like, "What?" And like, you're like wise in the month for, for 16. And I'm like, "Thank you." <laughs> I get that a lot, you know. It's not. No, no, no. It's not no, really. No, 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 no. That is based on perspective. That's based on perspective. It's not really. I, I try. It I try. is based on perspective. I get that. Let yeah, me tell you that. But yeah, I talked to him. That's my thing. Sure, whatever. And then I met Meta, actually, on Omegle. Sure. And I was, yes, that, that, that's the story of this. I was like, okay. Uh, she's fun. I was just like, hey, how are you? And she was like, not good. And I'm like, why not good? Like, I think I just saw my boyfriend on this website. And I was just like, oh, what, why is that bad? Because I think he, was, he, he then typed like was asking for news and stuff. And I'm like, oh. Well. How do you know it was him? And she's like, and I just went down that whole thing. Like, no, it's him. I yeah. talked to him and all that stuff. But it is long distance. He lives in Florida. He's like, and it's like, she lives all in the Philippines. So it's basically the same time zone, but just night time. Mm-hmm. Like right now, it's 10 15. It's 10 15 p.m. for them. Yeah. She was like, you know, crying on that stuff. And I was just like, talking to her, just being really honest with right? her. No, 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 no. And she was like, you're really good at this. And I'm like, at what? I'm just talking to people. I mean, I don't know. Because I mean, we're all strangers. Here's my thing. We're all strangers until we're not. At oh, some point, you were even you were even a stranger to your parents. They had to know you, and you had to know that. Okay. Some people the get that lecture about you when you were born was you were their drug. Yes, that's it. And 
Some people get the privilege to finally know their, their parents as people. Some people are stuck with them knowing them as parents. That's the difference. Uh, you know, I talked to her, then I got her, obviously got her number, and I was like, we talked about stuff like that. Uh, also on Amigo is that there's no filter for cover, uh, really any country. You can go to any country. So I talked to people. I talked to this one guy from Morocco, mm-hmm. 30 minutes about Islam. Wow. Go to the university, we talked about Islam for 30 minutes. That's it. Uh, we talk, I talked to you from, from, let me look, uh, let me look at my notes because I wrote down all the locations. Uh, it was, I, I, I've talked to people from Canada, Argentina, which is like, I guess, which is ridiculous. Uh, the United States, obviously, Brazil, Morocco, and the Brazil is crazy. Now, Brazil, a good friend of, I, I've talked to many people from Brazil. I talked to this one girl, Raquel, who is very beautiful if you see this and you can even understand this because you can't really understand English just know you're beautiful oh my god (laughs) I showed him your picture oh my god (laughs) I woke up this man was on the phone with uh, Mina they got off the phone and he he checks her story it was like whatsapp and she posted this thing of her of her like just looking in the camera I'm just like I was like yo who is that? He's like, that's my girl over hell, bro. I was like, bruh. She was ridiculous. All right. She I was, told him I didn't want to hear anything about me being a girl. I'm not going to. But he is. He is. But he got people around the world. But, 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 boy, no. Around the world. No. Look. What if our parents found this? That would be hilarious. That would be, no, that would be. That'd be a talk. He'd be like, I'm concerned about my boy. I'm like, what are you concerned about, sir? What are you concerned about? What is he concerned? No, I'm pretty sure he was already concerned about that topic we had in the car when he was picking it up. Did he, did he ever mention anything? Because no. he was oddly quiet. I'm like, wait, we're going to say something. Same with Megan's mom. Like, they, no, no, Megan's mom, she's just like, nah, she's, she's already, she's she, about, she was about to yell at Megan. Yeah, because she's like, hello, Madre. And I'm like, but anyways, the story she didn't say day. nothing. Story for another day. <laughs> uh, Brazil, you know, it shows, we go on Amigo, it puts faith in humanity. Put some faith in humanity. It really, Hardly. No, 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 I'll, I'll explain why. Because it, it, no matter where you go, it's the same. The same stories are happening, just different different places. places. You know, we I I talked to. You know, I don't. I don't know. It's probably the door. But we I, when I tell you, we talked to somebody from Canada, from Brazil, from Argentina, and we all talked about politics and policies. American, Brazilian, American, Canadian, American, Argentina. All of it is the same thing of like, oh, we're just people. And that's really what, why I go on there because you really understand that those are really truly just people. I met a girl uh, is, uh, from, Sri Lanka, from Sri Lanka, which is in like East Asia. And she, she's cool as hell. So, I mean, it, 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 and it really helps to like meet people all around the world because it always broadens your perspective and you're never close minded to believe you're truly always right. Because in reality, and that you're the world revolves around you because this is such a big place mm-hmm. and we're all really just the same. Also, I learned more Spanish in Portuguese in that weekend than I did in my entire c- school career for Spanish. Sure. Because mm-hmm. especially for Raquel, because she doesn't know how to speak English. She just knows she's doing a translate because she would yeah. she's saying to be a nurse and all that. So she taught me Portuguese. I taught her English, and just trying to talk that way and through Google Translate. Uh, Canada, I met pretty cool people. They're all pretty chill and all that stuff. And then, of course, it's Canada. Uh, yeah, yeah. Argentina, this one girl, fine, fine. I haven't talked to her in a minute, but I keep trying to text her. She just don't answer. Look this one girl. And it was like Canada. So that's the only person who doesn't live in America that I know. No, I, mean, I know I know too many people from all over the world, especially thanks to this website. You know, I I, I personally like it because it's uh, you know, cause and then um, I don't know, it's just very interesting and mental health also, and all that. I got some people in I got some people in the UK. He's looking at a snap right now. Denmark. Yeah, no, and, uh, I met this one girl from uh Germany. You know, she's eighteen. You know, she was very cool. We talked about. Obviously, the Trump Biden thing. Which yeah. Is like by the time this comes out, we already another election will come and gone. We'll have a president. It'll either be Trump or it'll be Biden. We'll and see. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure a civil war is going to break out in a few states. Probably. 
And you're going to see Antifa and the feminist rise. You're going to see if 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 Trump wins, and then you're going to see the friggin' KKK, all the KKK, or the friggin' extreme extremist. Like, can just like please, for the love of God, I uh, like hates us. I don't know why it's this, uh, but it's like bro, it's, like we just woke up. Either the way, at least we didn't stay up all night, but but yeah, no, I thought it was that was that was hell. We was tripping. I felt <laughs> when I tell you, I felt like I floated to the pool. That was wild. But, yeah. But, uh, yeah, by the time this comes out, another election will come and go on. So, and by the way, we're going to be dividing the mug. Now, we don't support any either of these people. Nope. But, I go ask this. Who do you think is going to win? Going to win? I honestly don't know. Like, it's hard. It depends on where you watch. It depends. Yeah, it depends on where you watch, because one place has one part. And It'd be like Biden's going to win overwhelmingly, but then... Because a lot of people are using those sites where you can edit the votes to where it looks like somebody's winning. Yeah, so again, I, I, I think, personally, this could be a toss-up, or Trump's going to win by a blowout. Just like the last four years. Because four, years ago, they, because four years ago, they said that Hillary was going to win by a landslide. And then Trump blew her out the water. Yeah. So, like, there's a 50-50 chance because and I I've seen a lot of ex-Trump supporters change to, like, Biden. So, like, I'm just like, hmm. But, people but be, then uh, again, I have, like, a lot of – I have a few friends who, like, live in uh, Alpharetta who are pretty good Trump supporters. Here's some here, – let me just make an announcement like, pu- publicly. And this goes to any people I know personally, if I ever meet you. If especially goes out to my friend Harrison Goldstein, who I've had in this podcast before, he was a nice dude, sweeter than cake itself, and never has been in a fight. He likes Trump for his own reasons. If any of you people, you freaking idiots, put hands on anybody I know because of a political view, somebody threatened Harrison. He's been threatened to get jumped five times because he supports Trump. Carla Cortez. Blocked him, he said, because you, because I don't want to be friends with you because you want, don't want me in this country. Like, that's not how that fucking works. It's not how it works. And he's been trying to get judged, and I texted him, and I said, I got you on security for free, because I will Because Joe, you. well, not Joe, well, I have a friend. Kai would have gotten the same thing then. Yes. And, and Harrison, but the thing is, Harrison's open. Kai's not that open. Harrison's, exactly. Harrison's just like, I don't care. I'm open. I don't know why he supports him. I haven't asked him. I'll have that conversation with him, but that's his beliefs. It's whatever. You put your hands on somebody, because, or you degrade them because of their political view, you're fucking stupid. You're and I'm right talking right. to mostly less people, because it is mostly y'all this it time. Is. Because the reason it looked like Hillary was going to win the last time was because y'all shamed every single person who supported Trump publicly into a racist, into whatever, into a, into black people too, a coon or whatever. And what happened? They showed up when it mattered, and they blew y'all out the water. Ohio, uh, a kid who wore a MAGA hat to school, right? He got jumped by two girls. Yes. They were spitting on him. Yeah, and the they disrespect is real. dog out of him. Like, he was fighting the urge to fight back. Because if, I swear, if he didn't respect anybody, he would have hurt them. And, and it's the same in the same vice versa. Vice versa. No Trump supporter. Don't ever go out here, go attacking anybody who supports Biden or Democrat support or Republican or whatever. Because it doesn't fucking matter. Because guess what, black people? The Democrats and the left don't give a shit about you. They don't. They care about you less than neither, them. Neither, Here's the thing. Neither of them do. Here's the it's thing. Just, it's just, I use us as political, as a left. We're a, here's the thing. Here's the only difference between the left and the right, the Democrat and Republican, is that the Democratic person has, has mastered the ability to lie to the black man and say, we support you. We care about you. We've got you more than they do. Don't worry about them. Vote us. We got you. When in reality, they care less about us than the Republicans. So when I see all these at least, the, at least the Republicans are open. Like they don't like us. No, they'll be like, we don't like you, but when it comes time, we will support you. They are like, they they use us as a political football and will toss us back and forth and be like, you know, yeah, well, we care about you. We're there for you. Just get the vote for us and we got you. And then guess what happens? They get nothing. We're stuck in the same place because we don't think for ourselves. Like in 2016, Trump promised to help the black community more than he did. And there's still stuff going on. But no, but even then. It's not not even 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 that. But but he was more honest. Hillary 
was the biggest hypocrite. People were like, we need to vote Hillary to vote blue. Hillary literally said, if you were a single mother with a black child, you were, your child is a thug. I am a thug, Alan. <laughs> and you want me to vote for her? Absolutely not. I, I, no. But she got that stupid blue sticker. They're just like, no, my mother did it. And if that's you don't, and if, that's you don't think, that's and if you don't think that the majority, which is mostly ignorant, which mm -hmm. mostly actually are niggas, which actually are that, they would go ahead and be like, you're a coon, you're Uncle Tom. Now, do you know who Christian Walker is? I believe so. Okay, so he is hilarious, bro. He kills me. He's a diehard Trump supporter, right? Him and his father. His father was Herschel Walker, football player. Okay. Christian Walker is, he's constantly like, you know how black people are like, we bring up a point. Like, I'm not talking about the extremists. I'm talking about, like, the actual, like, yeah, BL, the true BLM supporters. How they bring up a point about something. Yeah. Christian would be like, stop, stop blaming our, our President Trump when you guys are just, you black people, you black, this kid is light skinned. You black people, do it to yourself. I was like, yo. You're part of us. You're part of us. And he doesn't even refer to his dad as dad. He's like, every point he makes. My dark black dad. <laughs> I'm like. But here's the thing. I say this. I say I this. was like, didn't your dad abuse your mom, though? I say this. I say this. And, and it's funny you brought that up. I say this. What, how do we solve racism? We uh, can't. You can't. You can't. Stop talking about it. Exactly. It's that simple. I will, I'm not going to call, when you, when you, when, when, if you were to introduce me to a friend, right? Mm -hmm. Like say when I introduced you, when you introduced me to Megan, did you say, hey, this is my friend, Megan, or did you say, hey, this is my half white, half black biracial friend, Megan, that's a female and is bisexual slash gay. Did you no, say, I said, this is my friend, Megan. Put that in the same context. That doesn't make sense. You can't. Did, you can Stop talking about it. I'll stop looking at you as you are a black man. I'll look at you as Alan. You look at me as Michael. It is that simple. It is that simple. And people are going to be like, well, you're kind of minimizing your experiences. And like, no, it's still part of you, but it's not you. This is, this is exactly what I'm talking about, right? But, so I just don't understand the level of, like, the hypocrisy. And uh, so every time I see these commercials in, like, the black America, it's just like, you need to vote Democrat. So look out for us. I'm like, you fucking idiots. Neither they don't either. like you. They don't like you. Neither. They just lie to you. Like, oh my I God. That's why most of the black people I like follow who are political oh. are neutral. Oh my God. I see it. And I'm like, you fucking idiots. I'm just they're like, lying. They're they don't care. Like, oh. Neither of them care. And it makes me, it's, it's so. But weird. the thing is that most of them don't think for themselves. So they're just like, oh. Hold up. He's so gay. And, and the thing is, he was he's like, like he reminds me of Ryan. He reminds me of Ryan. So now watch. Okay, in one of his videos, he was like, when I think of a, a, a liberal man, I think of frail. Uh, you want to, hey, you want to go to a feminist march? And when I think of a Republican, I think of big, strong. I was like, yo, you're a Republican, though. <laughs> you're conservative. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Because, because, um, I get, I get, I, because Trump is a real dude. Uh, 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 when, he, when, he, so when he said that, it's real. Because Trump was a real man. That is a man. When I think of conservative man, I think of muscle, big, gruff, strong, strong-minded. When I think of liberal man, I think, I want to go to a feminism march. <laughs> Huge difference, world's way. Conservative men are protectors, strong, you know, take care of you. Da -da -da. All he is, he's just as stupid as them. Cause no, the thing is, he's he, so had stupid. he had conservatives dragging him in the garbage. Like, yeah, because I'm just like, you're just. He had both parties. Because he's just dumb. Like, what? But here's the thing. Here's the thing. That, there's a point to that. Because the reason Trump got to office so easily is because he's a real dude. He's a man. That is a man. You talk, you look at him. He carries himself like a man. He talks like a man. He walks like a man. He's a full grown. That's a he's dude. a cocky ass man, but. That is an, that is an arrogant ass man that knows what the hell he's talking about. 
He's here to do business because he's a businessman. He's not a politician. That's why he was. A, we had soft ass people. people who never dealt with a bully before because we're in this soft ass economy where if you fucking say anything, it's going to see as a fucking attack. Whether it's just an observation or it's just what it is. They're it like. It's 2020. It's not even 2020. No, 2020 20. brought him out a lot more. Because it's this whole 21st fucking century of these sissy ass people. Exactly. Cancel it. culture is the most dumb thing ever. Because guess what? You need all the bad stuff to have good stuff because you need your idea ideologies challenged. Exactly. Regardless how simple it is. You need someone to be like, yeah, okay, okay. Like Megan, she tried to try to justify Satanism. You're gonna cancel her for that? You should. Because I don't agree with it. Exactly. But you need people like that because she said, oh, it's not really about that and all that. And she went and did research. I'm just like, well, guess what? No, because it has Satan in the fucking name. We're not doing exactly. that. Like, like and, and but that's to, have that, that's but to have that discussion to cancel that immediately just because they said it is not a good thing because we can't move forward. We're going to be stuck. We're going to re regress instead of progress. And that is the problem. We need to progress instead of we start regressing. Trump. Realized how regressed and bitch made this country was from the government. He's just like, man, eh, move. Give me your lunch money. He did that all the way. And he tried to pull it down. He tried to pull it now. He's damn about to succeed, personally. I believe. I believe I believe he's gonna win. Uh I don't support him. I don't support Biden either, but I think he's gonna win. And but because of these four years and he's bullied, he's now brought people have now learned how to deal with a bully and are now going to rise up against that bully. Which is making so he's actually making, but he knows they're not his country stronger to rise up against him. So in that way, I'll say he, he literally bullied y'all in 2016. To he bullied y'all from 2016 to now, and guess what? And he's still bullying it during these elections, bro. and he's bullying the hell out of y'all. And I'll tell you what. I personally like Biden more than Hillary because he just that's another kind of kind of a real man. Because when he, because when when Trump went shut up for the first debate, he was just like, "Hey, yo, man, shut up." Mm -hmm. You ain't, that first, you ain't that gonna first, have no. You went that first debate. You he wouldn't was have no. To keep it professional, but he couldn't. Like, ain't, ain't no sissy man doing that. Mm -hmm. Ain't no libertarian from four from from twenty sixteen down. You're gonna be like, shut gonna up. be like that. You're gonna be like, yo, shut up. Like, oh, but I'll say this, and this is another thing I'll say: we need to stop voting off of people we like and start voting by policy. Because Obama got in because we liked him. Obama got in because we liked his personality. He was black and he was cool. He got in because he was cool. I remember that news story where they got on him for wearing a suit. I that was funny. I was like, y'all really mad over a suit? No, but like, like he was he was cool, he was nice, and he was kind and all that other stuff. And they liked him for his personality. So they he won, he got two terms. Trump Per actual policies make a little bit more sense than Biden's because Trump's basic, basically what I've observed is that Trump is the, he's a businessman, he's a politician, he's gonna look out for businesses. If you just want to support yourself and you want to go out and do something, I can take care of you. I can do something with that. You can't do that if you're just working a nine to five and bitch about your job and then go back to that nine to five. Let's so say we also if, gotta watch out for these empty promises because he said that he was gonna help. Uh, no, both of them ain't gonna do that much. Shit. I know, but. So we do have to watch that, but I'm saying that there's more chance of him looking out for people. And the thing is, like Obama, he actually he actually knew that he wasn't doing much, and he, he said knew. That, and he said that on because he tried, he, he tried, he tried, and you he can did. tell he tried because he looked, he walked in like 34. When he walked out, he looked 73. Mm -hmm. Joe, when you looked at people like George W. Bush who didn't try but got a certain amount of terms, he came out looking younger, younger. than he walked in because he got fucking trying. But he tried. He tried his oh. fucking hardest. Did he do that much? Because they thought he thought he, they thought he was black. He thought they were gonna fight with the black community. Exactly. Like, no, he's gonna fight what he's gonna fight for whatever what, what every other person's gonna fight for. The money. You wanna you want to be fought for? Get money. The girly color that matters in this country, sometimes in this world, is green. And that is the money. That is the currency. You follow the money, that's where it's gonna be. None of this race shit matters, it's all a distraction. Money is what really matters. So if you want to be fought for, regardless of race or whatever, because that's what this because this whole thing with the whole stimulus check was what they're, they did. They're kind of mm -hmm. they're, they're going to be like I said this before. I was like, where do you work? Where do you live? And how much do you make? Step over here, please. Exactly. That's exactly how it works. How much do you make? Where are you from? No, like, like where do you work and where do you wh and where do you live? 
Step over here, please. But I'm white. I'm not part of them. Step over there, please. You make about the same amount of money as them. You're going to go over there. You're rich. We'll take care of you. Exactly. And that's that's one thing that I can agree with Biden on. Because he's trying to make the richer not as rich. So, But like that, everyone, that's, that's wrong, in my opinion. How? What? Because if you work hard for your money, if mm-hmm. you work hard for your money, it truly be like you did everything you did or whatever, however you got your money, it's your money. You did that and that is yours. Because I don't have that amount of money, you don't deserve to have that stripped away to make myself better because that's actual common. Well, he's not He's not stripping it away, though. But, but taxing more because taxes overall is robbery. To be out there and be like, they are struggling, you've done well, whether you worked hard for it or whatever. Say you did work for it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, because people want to use the whole thing where just handing money or whatever, because in reality, that's not really how it always works. Because uh, you do you have to end up making, have, you still have to work hard to maintain that yeah. level of rich. Um, I, I, you make as much money, you become the next Jeff Bezos or whatever. Yeah. I like work a nine to five, and you did all that, and you built an empire or whatever. You don't deserve to be taxed more, and I tax less because you worked hard for that money. You don't deserve to be stripped more. I understand the mindset of what they're trying to do, but it's wrong because it's you're trying to cheat the rich instead of just, hey, how about you get your ass – and what Trump's trying to do, I guess, is just get your asses up, have some damn ambition, and go do something to actually then put you in a position to do stuff. A lot of the rich don't pay taxes because they realize how, fucking dead, how to get out of it. Exactly. If you're that's a, when you run that's businesses, why a whole, that's why there was a whole drama thing yeah. about how Trump's not. And Trump, and Trump was like, "It's not illegal. Why? Because I'm smart." And you're gonna stop asking why he isn't and start figuring out how he did it. Exactly. And I and the thing is, is that he, I think I figured out how he did it. So it, it's, le- it's 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 not morally correct, but it's legal. So basically, what they do, it's like, say we go out somewhere to eat, mm-hmm. or a businessman, right? We can write that off as a business lunch, and they will not tax you for it. And I will not have to pay for it because they will take that on my taxes and I will not pay for it. You can write, we went out to lunch, we go eat at Moe's or whatever, whatever restaurant you want. And I had a business and it was successful. I wrote that off as a business lunch. There's no tax on that. Write that off as anything under business, under that. Mm-hmm. Don't take that one. Groceries. It's not morally right, but it's smart. Trump doesn't pay a damn tax because he writes it off under business, and he can justify that because he is a businessman. He can do that. He's a successful businessman at that. He's smart. He has multiple. And clothes. people try to take that away from him, and I think it's unjust. It's and that's why I can respect him, though. That's, I can respect that. I don't support him. Some some of the things that he says. The stuff um, he says is just. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Just use some level common sense for some people. Some people are like, use some common sense here. That man is in his 70s. Do the math. He was born in the 1940s and some 30s. Do you think he has any progressive ideas about blacks? Like, like he will call it that. Like, minorities, homosexuals. People of color. Anything. You think he's going to have any progressive thoughts about that? Honestly, this is what you believe. A 70-year-old man. You think Biden's going to do that? He's going to be, if he wins, he'll be 80-something. He's going to be more racist than Trump. <laughs> They were both raised in that time. <laughs> he was lived longer. He would be more racist than Trump, like by yearly, yearly speaking. He was raised up. They're both raised off of that. So like that's why I'm so it's just like in this situation. So I just said yeah, I'm just like why do you act like they're so different? Though I'm still trying to figure out uh, more stuff about this Howard Hawkins dude. Who's that? He's the neutral party. Look the 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 that that it's so insignificant because of the of the whole. Electoral college thing, you know, because the, the only thing electoral college is really good for is that if niggas would, every, every person in the fucking world would write PewDiePie on their fucking ballot, PewDiePie would not become president, you know, because they'd be like, obviously, we're not going to fucking put that, you know. So, uh, but, that, but other than that, it's it, it completely insignificant. I'll say this to people honestly, think, do you think if your vote actually mattered that they would let you do it? You, you do truly believe and in your heart of hearts, you voting, right? And I'll say, if you want to go vote, go vote, practice. But, but, but don't bash people for not voting because that's still fighting. That's still participating in the election. If you're eligible to vote, whether you don't vote, vote for either side or vote neutral or right or writing, 
you play a part in the result of what happens. To the 2016, where I said this to my mom, she did hate it when I said it. You know those kids in the cages? I said whether if you were eligible to vote that election, whether you didn't vote, you voted for Trump, you voted for Hillary, you voted for whoever, you played a part in the result of getting those kids in those cages because you're part of the result that led to those actions. Exactly. Now, did you, is your is your is your name on the signature of Trump? No, but you are still part of that part. Of that you election. made him president. Next the time when we're eligible to vote, me and I are eligible, eligible, to, vote, eligible to vote, whatever choice we made for the rest of our lives. It's we are play, going to be responsible for that. We are going to play you responsible for the for the path that this country goes. So I don't understand people who say if you don't vote, you're not participating. Like, yes, you are. Because you're saying, well, we fought, black people fought for this and all that other stupid shit. Because I'm like, well, they didn't fight for the right to vote. They fought, they, they fought for the, the, the point of choice. They fought for choice. They fought to not be to, to, to say if we're gonna say no, it's gonna be because of us, not because you said I will. I'm not gonna let you. So they use that argument of we fought for that women, black people, whatever. It's so insignificant because it's like, well, you guys, we fought for the vote, so we should vote. You're not. You're you're spitting the face of your ancestors. No, we're not. Because you fought for me the right to say I don't want to vote because neither of them support me. Neither of them are gonna help me. I think it's a detriment to vote for either of those, so I'm going to abstain my vote. And I'm not going to have my signature on any of them. And whatever happens, I will deal with the consequences of that. But I'm not going to sign my name because, guess we got to vote. Well, now you don't. Exactly. Every person could abstain from this, from this election. I want to see what would happen then. It may not be much more entertaining. They actually have to realize, hey, maybe your fucking outdated ass government that lasted since the 13 <laughs> colonies needs to be fucking changed. The thing is, they won't change it. They won't change it they because they want. We want to fucking. We want to fucking hold the, the, the scroll. Like, shut the fuck. Like, no. No. Like, stop. Yeah, like, shit. Just rich as hell. Like, come on now. That's like, that's why. That's why all this shit still exists. Because we're going by outdated rules. We're going by. We're going by niggas who literally wrote shit with a feather and had slaves under the boot when they wrote all men are created equal. Exactly. Make that make sense. Hmm? Make that the make sense. The only reason. The only reason Abraham. Because he thought we were inferior. Not even that. He's just like, I want to keep the union together. Whatever's got to do is whatever I got to do. That's what I think. People are like, oh, he freed him. He's the best president. I'm like, Abe Lincoln didn't care about y'all. He, did. he said, he, he said, said on record, in, he said, what inferior? You're inferior. And whatever I have to do to keep us from splitting, I will do. If that means free some and keep some in slavery, if it means keep them all in slavery, if it means to free them all. I will do whatever it takes to keep our country together. So, he don't even care about y'all. No president cared about y'all. Because y'all not money. Y'all can't help none of that. Yeah, if you ain't got much money, you get money. Have ambition. Start your own business. Do all that stuff. Live off the fruit of the lands of those who love the 1% instead of bitching about how they got there. Like, it's unattainable because they weren't. Because they got there for a reason. There's a one percent for a reason. Because they, they rose above the ninety nine, and do that. All right. I'm trying to do that. You know, I'm trying to get one of my friends to do that, and it, just to have ambition to do your own thing instead of just complaining, constantly complaining, just sitting back like, man, I hate my job. Oh, it's time to clock in. Work for your own time. How about that? I don't want this too much work. And shut the hell up. Like that. Like shut up and deal you with your that, poverty and be able to do all that other shit. Use that point. To be like, I hate my job, but you don't want to work for yourself, then you you can't really complain. That doesn't make sense to complain. And I know a lot of you will be like, yes, you can, because it's your mindset or something like that. But that doesn't make sense to complain. Like, I'm not going, and if I was your friend and you were saying stuff like that, I would be like, just shut up. Like, that doesn't make any sense to say. Just because of the this, this hard fact why would you push a narrative that you're making? Like you're and honestly that 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 whole narrative can be pushed into things like mental health because we have friends. You know, we should be saying that you want to keep it anonymous because they're probably they're gonna see this. I don't care. It's so it's your we have friends, right? One of them's been out here, Alex. I've talked about his 
him before when he when he when he basically downloaded his whole fucking childhood on me. Uh, and our friend May. Now this was during the weekend. I was on Omegle, uh, and they're they're not fit. They're not fit. I'll be completely honest. They're not mentally fit in the slightest. Uh, Megan has done things very questionable that lacked uh, for her judgment. Uh, she, Alex, obviously, he's he's a very outburst, very sporadic person that can take can pop off at any time. Now. I say this not too bash them. I bring up this point because of this. We were on FaceTime, and they, were, and they and they like to come bitch about their problems a lot, and not in a constructive way. Of this is what's bothering me. I feel like this today, and explaining. They say it to get attention or and or to get a reaction to be, and it's not really always comedic. And most of the time, it's just really obsessively annoying. And if they see this, they'll see this as a personal attack. It's not. It's just an observation, and everybody knows it. So we were on FaceTime doing that, and I just said. I'm looking out for all y'all. Ain't nobody looking out for me. Joking, of course. But that is my reality. That is Alan's reality. That's what we both realized through, especially during this quarantine, Alan's realized that as well, that not really many people are going to look out for him. And now not, nobody's going to look out for me. So we have to look out for each other. And that's really what matters. They went and proceeded to give me a lecture about how it looks like I am grabbing for attention and how I am grabbing and how I am I am. I should either don't talk about it, or deal with it, or talk to him about help. Otherwise, like, well, we offer you help all the time, just like, because you cannot. And the, the honest answer, honest to God answer, is that you guys cannot help me. People like that who who who, who, who complain about their problems do for attention, and then say they can help somebody, doesn't make any sense. It is like if a homeless person said, "I can help you get a house." It is like a starving man telling you where the where the where, where the cheapest place to eat is. It does not make any sense. There is no correlation. It's the biggest hypocrisy ever, and it does not. It, it, I cannot take it serious. Megan has openly said it multiple times she does it for attention. That she does a lot of things and she self criticizes herself for a lot for attention or not even not for attention. She'll just do it, and I think and it looks like attention because she'll want us to either say, "No, you're this, this, and this," and disagree, and just to disagree. But if we were to then buy into her and say, you know what, Megan, is do you want to hear that? Yes, we, yes, you know what, everything you said that you think you are is correct. You are ugly. We don't like you. We have you rights to have you. You are a whore. You're all fill in the blank. She'll call us toxic and I want to be friends with her more. So people like that cannot be pleased. And they want to go ahead and grab for attention and then try to lecture, then lecture someone like me who then just te makes it the reality of the situation that, hey, no one's going to look out for me. I'm looking out for everybody else. I need to find those people that I, that will look out for me as well, like I have looked out for others. And I get the lectures on that. And I, I feel offended that she had the gall to do that. Alex did the same thing. And I'm like, you, may God rest her soul, won't shut about your mom. And the thing is that you didn't even like her. Your, your mother was abusive. And you went ahead and you said, and you every time you talk about imagine having a mom. Imagine caring about your future. Imagine this. Yeah, imagine, Alex. Maybe that will help you. Do imagine. Imagine or believe, achieve, or shut up to both of you. And if people like that, you have to get rid of them. I'm not, I don't know. I don't, that's not, I know they're good people, but people who have that mindset, you got to take a step back. If, you, if anybody is not life, whether it be family or friends, those people got to go. Simply because of the fact that that will drag you down. It, it, it affects our mental health. It has affected our mental health before. It has affected the energy that they bring. It's going to always be negative. Energy. Especially people who are like sensitive to other people's energies. You're going to feel it in your fucking chest. You're going to feel it. And it's going to hurt. And you don't want to be anything around that because that is not something to bring for it. And I don't, I am not against anybody talking about their problems. I believe all problems should be discussed to make peace with. But if you're talking about them just to bring a point, just, just to no point, to just say it for a reaction, to say it so people disagree with you, so people can say nice things about you, or for whatever bullshit reason, you're not gonna get nowhere. And they're gonna be and then you're gonna sit there and wonder why does somebody keep hitting me? Because you keep driving people away. Whether you know it or not, you're driving people away. And and you can't and you just can't sit there and lecture the other people about it. And that's just people in general. Not even just those two people, because I'm not calling them out just personally. It's just people I know. Those are just that's just two examples of many people that we've met, maybe we know that do that such said thing, and that level of hypocrisy I cannot respect. 
I was like, you're going to make me lose respect for you in terms of what you have to say to me about anything regarding mental health or anything regarding struggle because you are going to go ahead and just make yourself manifest yourself struggle. And I think they just like, um, I don't know if it's like a past trauma or something, but I feel like it's something that they feel within themselves. Like Megan has messaged me a couple times asking if I like truly like myself because I... I personally don't feel like I am attractive, so I'm just like, I'm ugly compared to y'all or something like that in a jokingly way. Mm-hmm. So she has messaged me separately asking, do I actually like myself? I'm like, I love myself. Mm-hmm. I'm just being honest to what I feel about myself. Mm-hmm. So if I don't feel like I'm funny in that situation, I will not I will say I am not funny at the moment. Or I've used up my, all of my funny f- I make humor out of it. I don't feel like I am as attractive as other people. I feel like I could be attractive in different situations. Like right now, I look like a mess. <laughs> like <laughs> I look, I look like a train has hit me. But um, I feel like I could be attractive. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I don't feel like I'm as attractive as other people. There are there are so many other people in life. Not just not just at school or in our friend group or anything, in life that are mm-hmm. billions times as more attractive as I am. So like I'm like I love myself. I know myself personally. I'm cool yeah. with myself. I love myself. I just am honest when it comes to a different situation. Yes, uh, you know, same for me. It's like, uh, you know, there's a saying where it's like, you know. Your nose is right above your mouth, but you can't. You can never tell how your breath stinks. And I call, call, I'm calling. I'm calling myself out for this one too, which means it's so much simpler to talk to that person. Say, "That's wrong with that person. That person." You never know what's wrong with you. You never know that your breath stinks. Mm-hmm. And that level of awareness that we need to have, like I, I you know that level of awareness. I am learning to have more because as much as I tell, that I talk about other people. I understand that I am becoming a weak man when it comes to doing things things i am ambitious for like the podcast like that i it is very simple for me it's very i i will go on i i i I love doing this i plan to do this for a long time it's just simple for me uh something along of being i feel like i'm becoming weaker i whether that's true or not i feel that within my soul i like who i am there's things i need to fix but as of everyone we continue to learn to close your mind off of that but I'll say this to those people who, to anybody out there, there is no such thing as problems. There are only situations. That challenge you. Not even that. Like the situation, what is that, what, 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 what do you make of it? To people like Megan, you decide it's either a situation or a problem. You decide if you're going to be a situation or a problem. And that, a possibility or a problem. It could be a possibility or a problem. You could be a possibility or a problem. And that opens up a world of things. And to do that would, that way it would help you have a greater outlook on life. It would help a lot of people with mental health. And finally, is that people like that, that do that, my last thing of advice is that you cannot make them happy. You, you cannot. You, it is a they, until they find happy. The happiness should be determined what is happening within you, not around you. It can. It, it cannot be situational. It must be you understand what you are going through, where you're at. Because you, I cannot make you happier than you can make yourself happier, any happier. I can give you mo. I can give you momentary peace. I can make you laugh your heart out. But at the end of the day, you're gonna go back to being you. And whatever that is, is completely up to you. I can't do anything about it. So you have to understand that and understand when it's time to separate yourself from that situation and to understand, hey, you know, I need to go ahead and and uh, make the choice to save myself from this heartache, this pain and all that so that I can move forward with my life because we... Because people like me and Alan do forget to be selfish because other people don't think about themselves enough. Think about themselves enough. 
we have to constantly remind people. So whenever we talk about our problems, we then get thrown in our face that we uh, our problems aren't as big. Are, are we don't we don't we can't we don't really understand. No, I apologize. I'm I'm speaking for you. Yeah, but uh, uh, but that is just basically what I've seen, and that is just a big thing that has baffled me personally. Mm-hmm. And it is like I I comprehend it, it can't really comprehend that form of logic to me because I see that and I'm like that is that that you saying that to me makes me just not want to be around you. Yeah, because there have been times I'm like, going to lie. The times were what I was, and I can I can believe that. Um, my personality is like I would have bursts of sadness or like a depressive state, and I would just like kind of break. You know, like everyone has that mask that they put on every day. Like everyone has different situations, different problems like that, and then sometimes that mask falls off. Mine comes out in bursts to where, like, shortly after, I'm like, okay, I need to chill. Like, I'm just like, what am I doing? And at that point, I'm like, why did I do that? And I've tried changing it because it was, ten, and it's worked. It was 10 times worse in middle, or not middle school, elementary school. Like, I was a full on crazy kid in elementary school like i would cry over the dumbest things dumbest things it could be it could be somebody telling me that my nose is running and they would make a joke about it like i'm that that was me i was that kid but i've worked on myself and i'm still working on myself like everybody should to fix that and i'm I say I am getting better, but at the same time, I still have a lot of work to do. Just like what we said when we were talking about politics. This country is its pretty cool, but we have a lot of work to do. A lot. And I, that that's where I'm just like, I feel like we need to focus on people more than the actual country itself. Because at the end of the day, we don't have Mother Gaia convincing us what we're going to be doing the next day. No, it's literally your decision. So. Yeah, so it's just that for that, it, again, it's just we have to focus on the dead people. And that's how it can be tied back to Amigo. So yeah, that's all going to be tied back into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I recommend it. Warning, there is logic on there, but I recommend talking to random people in, in public or virtual or whatever. Because you 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 truly understand people from all perspectives of life and and broaden your horizon of thinking and you'll always learn because the minute you feel like you're done learning is the minute you die because you do you have no purpose your purpose is well served and that is the beginning of the end for you because you, if there's no more improvement there's no more adaptation why are you here it is when nature will run its course and say it's time for you to go because you you have no purpose here anymore you're you're, you're done. You know, so you can never be done because, you know, if you, you, because some people think they're done and they never get to begin, especially people our age, if their life is done, it hasn't begun yet because of hardships or whatever. Honestly, this generation is growing up a lot quicker than the others. We've dealt with a lot of stuff earlier, but to think it is over because of those same hardships and act like it, it won't happen again. And it's like, this isn't like, this isn't preparation for your future, for preparation for whatever that might come. Uh, it, it, you you kind of have to understand that when you look back on it, but you have to have to make it to look back on it. Like, I look, like I was, again, I was bullied from third grade to eighth grade. Looking back on it, I wouldn't change a damn thing about that. But that made me understand people a hell of a lot more. Certain things that happened in my family life. Would I change a thing? Absolutely not. Because without those things happening, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I commend everyone along my life that's helped me get to this point. And everybody who will continue to help me get to this point. So that is where that mindset should be. Should be. And also for mental health, 
there's never going to be a universal solution for whatever disease, depression, ADHD. Yeah, I got you. Uh, fill in the blank. Uh, there's there's no universal situate like solution because it's all different. We're all different people within the mind. So we must make decide what is best for us in a healthy manner that is not going to hurt us in the long run, long run, or will only give us momentary satisfaction and instead give us long term satisfaction because that is what would be harder to obtain. But better to have. Uh, Alan is obviously getting, is getting ready. Uh, I want to thank him for coming on. Uh, this is episode 34 of the Social Podcast. Remember, stay fit, stay safe, love each other. See y'all next time. Bye bye.